So that pillar you may be slightly more familiar with the hood than where I did this last piece of material. But people that were talking in a completely different language, a language that I didn't understand, uh, you know, uh, well up in that thing, you know, and things like that. And it's just like, I'm not being funny, mate, but you're white and from Altrincham. I, I don't think you have any idea what the hood is. And I don't care how much you listen to NWA, why are you driving around in your mum's Citroen? It really, really is not But, no, 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 people are strange. I mean, uh, the, other, the other thing that seems to be prevalent nowadays is talk of travelling. Now, I know there's a few people in here that have been travelling, and that's fair enough, you know. But don't try and get me to do it, that's what I don't like. And I don't like the people that talk about it as though they're doing something really, really special. At the end of the day, they've got on a large plane to go somewhere. Anybody can do that. Unless you happen to be on a South Asian flight, of course. Um, <laughs> but like, I can never understand it, especially some of the people that I, that I knew. We went to Australia, and it's like, oh, I've been to Australia. Yeah, great, what did you do? Oh, I got drunk all the time. We could have done that in Salford. <laughs> and the bar staff would have had the same accents. And don't talk to me about the exoticness of it. I mean, come on, you're talking about having a wank in a tent? I could do that at home. <laughs> And that's for trying to push me towards it. Well, at the end of the day, I do a lot of things you don't do. Last week I masturbated over cash in the attic, but you don't get me trying to do it. I didn't hear you. Comic license. Well, you know, pull on my face was a special guest. Um, <laughs> I've got to stop doing that joke actually because now whenever she's on TV my mum knocks on my bedroom door and walks in and goes, you know put on my face on the TV, don't you? <laughs> I did think of that box of Kleenex, didn't I? <laughs> yes mum, go away. <laughs> but like, <laughs> and these people are also people that like to quote stuff and I've never really understood that. You know, there's a strange, strange thing about quotes is that they choose really bad examples. The best one I've ever seen in my life was Tiger Woods. Somebody decided to quote Tiger Woods. You should always be a role model. Tiger Woods. Well, I am trying to follow his example, but I can't say it's going particularly well at the moment. And then you've got Marilyn Monroe, right? Now, I'm sure everybody's seen this quote before. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. You heard that one? Yeah. Now, unless I'm very much mistaken, her worst is surely dead from an overdose. <laughs> I'm not too sure if I want to hang around for the best. Oh, necrophilia is not really my game. You may be surprised by that after some of the things I've said tonight, but there we go. I'm not really an outlandish person. I mean, I have just told a room full of people that I masturbate and what have you, but I'm not really. I mean, you didn't see me smashing chairs when I was a kid because well, I've got nothing to sit on after that. The, um, the one I've noticed recently, and the one I used to do when I was a kid was like quoting lyrics, like proper emo kid. You can probably tell with the hair, it used to be a lot longer than this. I actually had to renew my passport with a new picture because they didn't believe it was me. But um, strange, strange choices of lyrics, like people choose the John Lennon lyric, you know, imagine no possessions. Oh God, John, you're a millionaire. If you came back to life with my possessions, you'd be walking the streets of New York City hoping that Mark Chapman would shoot you again. <laughs> But then there's ones that are closer to my sort of age, you know, like the Fallout Boy one. I only want sympathy in the form of you crawling into bed with me. Okay, that one's still true. <laughs> but there seems to be a, an ongoing thing to glorify everything you do. I mentioned the travelling thing earlier, you know, and there's a specific group of people, and I've, I've looked around, and I think I might be alright with this tonight. Does anyone go to the gym? Oh, no. right. <laughs> Um, right, okay. Well, if you do see me in the car park later, just bear in mind I am disabled. I do wear glasses, so I cover two boxes, so please leave me alone. <laughs> if only I had Hugh and Sir, we'd cover all three and everything would be fine. <laughs> but, but there's a group of people that I like to call gym wankers, right? Now, I'm, I'm sure you're not one, Sir. Please wow. don't, please don't kill me. I've not finished yet. You might, if you keep interrupting me, you might just be a wanker. Just, just, just be careful not to stay on the wrong side. Well, okay. Yeah, well, fair enough. But um, these are the people that glorify everything they do in the gym. They tell you about all the stuff they've been doing and now they've achieved a new personal best. Or, oh, you know, lift it. You don't do that. You don't achieve personal best. No. no. <laughs> you don't achieve. No, <laughs>
You know, like, oh, I lifted 10 a day, that's not a lot, I know, but so, it would be an achievement for me. I mean, I've got the physique of a top sportsman. I mean, it's a dark player, but what the fuck, you know? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I lifted 10 k today. Did a big session on my legs. Yeah, I did a big session on my arse. You don't see me going on there. <laughs> And then it's like, oh, people, and this is another thing, people do try to get you to join them, you know, oh, come to the gym, it'll help you. I mean, for a start, what is a gym going to do for me? It's hardly going to improve my physique, and it's certainly not going to improve my ability to get around. But, like, oh, you should come to the gym, you're always so angry. I can't imagine why you think this. And, uh, you, you should come to the gym, it'll help you release some testosterone. Look, the long papers on the TV last night, and I've got the internet. <laughs> I've been listening to all the tests that's the one I need. Just leave me alone. <laughs> but at the end of the day, all it is, ladies and gentlemen, is I just don't like people that pick themselves up, that make out they are things that they're not, and say that they are things. Because generally, if they do say they are things, they're not. And I'd like you to keep that in mind tonight. Because my name's John Porter, and I'm a comedian. Good night. Yeah.